Welcome to the first coding lesson. What we're gonna do is to create a TypeScript React application using WIT and create folder structure for next lessons. To get the source code of this lesson, open repository link here, then go to the commit section and find first commit. You can compare your code on this page. Let's get to code. In this lesson, we are going to create a React application based on TypeScript. The first step, like always, is creating a folder for the project. Open your VS Code and from File menu, click Open Folder. Go to your desktop and click on New Folder. Set folder name ts mern amazona Open this folder and there we are. Here we are ready to create TypeScript React application. We have two options. The first one is Create React App and the second one is WIT. In this course, we're going to use WIT because it works great with TypeScript. Based on the documentation in this website, we need to run this command. Go back to VS Code and from Terminal menu, click on New Terminal and run npm create with at sign latest set the app name here i'm going to set it to run it then set options dash 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 template we're gonna use react dash ts template and press enter what it does is creating a React application based on TypeScript in frontend folder for us. The next step is going to the frontend folder and running npm install. By running this command, all packages inside package.json will be installed. Awesome. After installing all packages, let's run the project. Type npm run dev. I'm getting these commands from the script section. By running dev, it will start the project by wit. Press enter. And we have the project running at this address. Control click or command click on Mac. And there we are. Localhost current 5173 is the address of React application. To edit this project, we need to go to app.tsx. Let's go back to VS Code and review the folders of this project. All source code are located inside the src folder. The starting point is main.tsx and inside that we import app from app.tsx. Let's get rid of all content inside app and replace it with a dev. Inside that, create header and enter TS Amazona inside header. We are going to have a main section and a footer section. All right, reserved. Save the code and check the result. The next step is creating folders inside SRC. The first folder is Pages. We are going to put all pages, including home page, product page, cart page, and etc., inside the pages folder. Right click on SRC, new folder, and set folder name to pages. The next folder that I'm going to create is components folder, new folder, and the last folder is types because we are going to create TypeScript project and we need to have a folder for all types. That's it about this lesson. In the next lesson, we implement routing using React Router DOM and create some pages inside pages folder. Until that lesson, bye-bye. This is an optional lesson. What we're going to do is to create a Git repository and publish it on GitHub. Let's go for it. 
The first step is creating GitHub account. If you don't have a GitHub account, go to github.com and click on sign up. Enter your email here. Follow the instruction to create your GitHub account. You may get an activation email from GitHub and after confirming your account, you will be redirected to github.com and here you have access to your GitHub account on github.com. After creating GitHub account, you need to install Git on your computer. Go to git-scm.com and click on download. Select your operating system and follow the instruction to install GitHub on your computer. Then go for configuring GitHub. Let us start by setting the default branch using this command. Git config, copy this from this link. Go back to VS Code and click on plus to create a new terminal. Paste the command here to set the default branch to main. The next two configuration is for username and user email. Scroll up here. The first one is username by setting git config dash dash global username and enter the username that you entered in the GitHub account. Go for email. Set email to the email that you have used for creating GitHub account. It should be exactly same. That's it about the Git setting on your local computer. Let's go for the next step. Go back to the VS Code while you already created front-end project. Here, right-click on the empty space, new file, and set file name to readme.md. Here, I'm going to create readme file for the project. I just set the name of project to TypeScript, Mern Amazona. And here is the lessons that we watched so far. Introduction, install tools, create TypeScript by wit. And here we are on the create Git repository. Save this file. And it's time to create Git repository on GitHub. To do that, click on source control icon and click on publish to GitHub. Here you will get this message. GitHub want to sign in using GitHub. Click hello. You will be redirected to github.com. And after login, you need to click on open Visual Studio Code. Click on open. And then you will get this model. You need to enter the name of project, accept ts-mern-amazona, and then click on publish to GitHub public repository, not private one. Click on it. It says which files should be included in the repository. Select both of them and click on OK. It's publishing to GitHub uploading files and there we are click on open on github awesome in github.com slash your name slash tia slash ts dash mern amazona you have your project like this let's have a change in the repository and review the workflow of Git and GitHub. Here I'm just going to add steps of creating Git repository. Add readme.md, create GitHub account, connect VS Code to GitHub, and publish repository. Save the code. As you see, we have 
one as a badge in the source control it means that we have change readme.md to apply this change on the github we need to put a message here i just entered steps of creating git repo click on commit button by clicking on commit your changes will be saved in your local repository on this computer and it's not on the github.com to sync it with github click on sync changes and click on okay don't show this message again after a while your code will be uploaded to the github.com and if you refresh your repository on github you will see your comment message here and the time of comment in this lesson we are going to list products like this to get the source code of this lesson go to the repository and in the comment section find video 5 list products you can compare your code with mine on this page here is the plan to list products let us start by creating product type go to explorer and find the types folder inside src and right click new file set the file name to product with capital p dot ts and type export type product by having export type we can use the product type in other files to define a type in typescript we need to put equal sign and inside curly brackets enter fields of the type the first field is product name and the type of it is a string i don't put semicolon because we set semicolon to false in the prettier setting of vs code so i just press enter to enter the next field it's a slug of product url friendly name of product let's define other fields they are image category and brand of type string price content stock of type number description of type string and rating and num reviews of type number we will add other fields in next lesson but they are enough to build the list products in this lesson let's go and define sample products go to src right click new file and set file name to data dot data dot ts the first one is exporting sample products export const sample products what is the type of sample products it's an array of product put colon and set it to product and put a square bracket pairs then put an equal sign and inside a square bracket define product items for the first product inside curly bracket enter the name of product like nike slim shirt before going for defining next fields import products press ctrl i to get the recommendation and import it from types folder aha here we are getting another error it says this object is missing the following properties of type product slug image category and more let's add them here i entered other fields of product set the image to dot dot slash images slash p1.jpg i send you this image later and set other data based on the data type let's add the second product it's adidas fit shirt the third one lacoste free pants and the last one is nike slim pants the image address for the first one is p1 second one is p2 third product p3 and the last product is p4 let's put these images inside the public folder create a new folder and set it to images 
you can download four images from internet and set their name to p1 to p4.jpg or you can go to the repository and inside public folder of front end you can find the images inside the images folder i already downloaded this file i just copy them and i put them in the images folder great let's go and render products to render products go to app.tsx and inside the main section inside query bracket import sample products just type sample products press tab to import them from data.ts in react to render list of items we use map function in the map function we pass another function that accept array item as parameter and return a jsx for this jsx i use li so i need to wrap the parent to ul cut the closing one and put it after the expression save the file and go to the li to render product information let us start by rendering product.name in h2 in the curly bracket type product.name let's check the result make sure that you have running npm run dev in the front end folder uh -huh. there we are we have product names as bullet point here let's add product image in the li right before the product name put img tag set source of it to product dot image alternative text to product dot name and close it save the code awesome here we have the image of product name of product and four other items they are too big just put an css inside app.css go to the end of this file and for dot product dash image set max width 400 pixel and set width to 100 percent copy the class name go back to app.js and set class name of image to product image save the code yeah the product is much better let's show the product price and inside the paragraph put curly brackets type product dot price if i enter price one what do i get here it says price one does not exist on type product TypeScript based on the type of sample product, find the type of product, and if the field does not exist in the type of product, it raises an error for us. Get rid of one, put a dollar sign before it, and save it. There we are. The first product, Nike Slim Shirt, $120, and other products let's fix an issue in this code the immediate element after map function should have a unique key so we need to set key props for this li and set it to a unique value in sample products a slug is unique so i set it to product.slug and save the code to make sure that there is no error we need to go to the developer tools of console from this menu click on more tools and select developer tools in the console we get this warning by refreshing this page there is no warning because of this change let's review what we did we added product.ts to define a product model in data.ts we added four sample products in app.tsx, we imported sample product and we rendered product on the screen. In app.tsx, 
CSS, we created a style to show the product image. And also we added four products to the project. I just commit video five list products, push it to the GitHub repository. So you can find the code on my GitHub repository in the comment section at this address. That's it about this lesson. Until next lesson. In this lesson, we are going to add React Bootstrap as UI framework to the React application. Source code of this lesson is here by going to commit section, find video six, add Bootstrap, and compare your code with mine. Here is the React Bootstrap website. And by clicking on get started, we install React Bootstrap and Bootstrap package. Just copy the command here and go back to VS Code. Click on new terminal, go to frontend folder, paste the command to install React Bootstrap and Bootstrap package from NPM. After installing packages, it's time to go to the main.tsx. Press command P on Mac or control P on Windows and type main to find main.tsx. Then import bootstrap CSS in the import section. After React DOM import, I import bootstrap slash dist slash CSS slash bootstrap dot mean dot CSS. It automatically gets this CSS from node module folder. By adding this setting, we are ready to use React Bootstrap component. But how we can find them? Just go to the website, click on the components, and there we are. Here we have list of all components. For this project, we are going to create navigation menu. Go to app.tsx, and for the first dev, set class name to display flex, d-flex, is a class from Bootstrap that make the dev display to flex and set flex direction to flex column. Also, we need to make this dev full height. So I set height to full, then get rid of app.css and react logo and also use a state. We don't need it here and use a state at the beginning of this component. Then Go to app.css at the very end, copy product image and go to index.css, paste it at the very end, then find app.css in the explorer and delete it. Move to trash. Get rid of all classes inside index.css and only keep the first one. And for the root element, get rid of all CSS and just keep the font family and other classes that you have here. Save the code, go back to app.tsx, save the code here and check the result. Here is the result. Let's go for adding header or the class name instead of h full, make it viewport height to 100 to make this dev full height. Let's go for the header. In the header, we're gonna define navigation bar in React Bootstrap, we use nav bar. As you see, we have auto completion, press tab to import nav bar. And for properties, set BG to dark, background color to dark, set variant to dark, and set expand to large. So it's gonna expand on larger screen. Inside that, define a container, Container is another component from React Bootstrap. And inside the container, define navbar.brand. Navbar.brand with capital B. Set it to Amazona. Set the title. Set the brand name to whatever you like. I make it TS Amazona. Let's check the result. Awesome. Here we created a dark header and the title is TS Amazona. Let's add some menu on the right side, set nav, import nav from React Bootstrap, and inside nav, define anchor, set href to slash cart for cart, and another link for login. Set it to slash sign in. Sign, 
set the class name to navlink for both of them and there we are we created links on the right side for the footer section i just wrap it inside a dev create a dev and move all rights reserved inside the dev set the class name to text center it comes from react bootstrap to put stuff in the center by checking the result at the very end we have all right reserved in the center of a screen it's time to go for the main section inside the main section wrap the ul inside a container to set margin and padding for the content inside it and move it inside that and create margin from top by setting class name to margin top three here is the result we have space from top and also we have padding from left and right to put a stuff next to each other i'm going to use row and column so instead of ul replace it with row it comes from the react bootstrap control space or control i on it to get the recommendation and import it from react bootstrap make it closing save the code and replace li with call call another component from react bootstrap press tab to import from react bootstrap and there we are we have row and call from react bootstrap by having this change let's check the result uh -huh -uh. here stuff are next to each other if i make the window small i right click and select inspect and click on toggle device toolbar it's not what we want we are going to put one item at a time to get this point inside the call set sm to six so for a small screen we have two items in a row because we have 12 section and in a small screen each call occupy six section so we have two item in a row for medium device we have three item and for large device we have four item i just divide 12 by this value save the code aha uh -huh. much better this is super small screen xs it occupy the whole width and if i make the window bigger in a small screen i have two item in a row in medium screen and in large screen it's four items as you see by adding react bootstrap Without any CSS, we created a beautiful header, content, and footer. Let's review what we did in this lesson. In the package.json, we added React Bootstrap and Bootstrap package. In app.tsx, we converted simple HTML elements to the React Bootstrap components. In index.css, we removed extra CSS classes. And in the main.tsx, we imported bootstrap css that's it about this lesson until next lesson bye bye in this lesson we are going to implement page routing in the react application so we have home page and when you click on a product you will be redirected to the product page to get the source code of this lesson go to the repository and in the comment section find video 7 add page routing here is the plan let us start by installing react router dom for routing we are using react router dom the home page of this package is on this address and based on the recommendation from the latest version of react router dom we are going to pick a router and what this package says is to use this code to create routing in the new version of react application let us start by importing create browser router and other components from this package just copy them and go to main.tsx and right after react dom paste it we need all of them to implement routing in our react application the next step is creating a browser router and passing routes as parameter to this function but we need create routes from element to convert the jsx routes to the 
JavaScript object routes for create browser router function. Copy this and paste it right before React DOM. And here replace root with app because the root component for us is app and just comment this one out we don't need it at this point and inside the create root function for rendering elements instead of app we need to use router provider get rid of it and replace it with router provider and pass router that we created in this step as parameter to router provider by having this change, we implemented page routing in our React application. Save the code and check the result. As you see, there is no error in the console and in the UI. Next step is creating home page. We are going to move this code into home page component. Go to the src pages, right click, new file and set file name to homepage.tsx find the code in the app.tsx inside the container and move the row component entirely cut it from here and move it to the homepage.tsx type rfc and press tab to create a react functional component get rid of content inside the return and paste the code here. Import row, command I, select React Bootstrap and also find this import from here and move it to the home page. Change the path of data, press just dot before slash and get rid of import react also we need to import call from react bootstrap let's go to app.js save the file here and there we are there is no products here because we didn't finish routing in the project let's go for the last step adding home page go back to main.tsx and inside that create a route set index to true and set element to home page import it the reason that i'm setting index to true is that the home page address is a slash right after the domain name there is no path so i need to set index to true to make it the root of the website the last step is in the app.tsx in the container section we need to put outlet from react router dom import outlet component like this outlet is a placeholder for the routes that we define in the create browser router by having this change let's check the result awesome here I have my products on the home page. Let's implement another page. When I select a product, I should be redirected to the product page. To do that, we need to add another route. But this route has parameter and the parameter is the slug of product. Define another route, set path to product slash put colon to define a parameter and the parameter is a slug the element that is going to respond is product page and close it then close the route let's define product page inside pages folder right click new file product page.tsx type rfc and press tab to create react functional component save the code go back to main and control i on product page imported from pages folder save the code 
and go to the home page inside the home page i need to create a link from home page to product page what i need to do is to define link component from react router dom set to to a dynamic address it's gonna be slash product slash a slug of product put plus to concatenate it with product.slug close the link and move the image h2 and paragraph inside it save the code and there we are they are link if i click on the first link yes i will be redirected to the product page and if i click back i will go back to the home page good we've successfully implemented page routing using react router dom and the new api provided in the version 6.4 and by having this setting you can define as many routes as you want at one single point right here in the next lesson we complete the product page and also we work on the home page to make the products dynamic from a backend web api let's review what we did in this lesson in the package.json we installed react router dom in the main component we imported create browser router and we used it to create routing based on the elements that we have defined here and we used it in the create root function to define routing system also we created two pages home page and product page to implement single page application for our react app that's it about this lesson until next lesson bye bye